Hey everyone, big news straight from Apple. iOS 18.5 Beta 4 is finally here and it's packing some interesting tweaks and fixes. If you're a developer, you can dive in right now. And for everyone else, the public beta should drop soon. So whether you're running the latest iPhone 16 Pro Max or an older compatible device, this update is one to keep an eye on. And it's not just for iPhones. Apple also rolled out fresh betas for iPadOS, macOS, TelevisionOS, HomePod, Vision Pro, and even the Apple Watch. Now, let's talk size. The update weighs in at about 838.9 megabytes for the 16 Pro Max, while other devices get a slightly lighter version, roughly 800 MB. Now here's something interesting. The build number ends in A. If you've followed Apple's patterns before, you know what that means. We're close to the final version. Yep, a release candidate could be just a week away, which means a public rollout is likely around May 12. So what's new? Don't expect a flashy redesign. This one's mostly about squashing bugs and smoothing things out. CarPlay issues? Fixed. Is Bluetooth acting up? Sorted. Those annoying micro stutters in apps like music? Gone. And that weird wallpaper glitch where it fades in and out? It's almost fixed. Apple's also dropping a fresh pride wallpaper, but there's chatter about two mysterious new ones. Picture this. One features dark and light dots, creating glowing pockets, and the other, crystalline bubbles bending light in wild ways. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Hopefully, we'll see them soon. Vision Pro fans, your app just got cooler. There's a new spatial gallery to show off those mind-blowing 3D photos, plus an Apple immersive adventure to dive into. Even the Mail app got a tiny makeover with smoother menus and contact photos showing up where they should. And there's more! Apple Care Plus has a sleeker look now. Beats Pill just launched new colors, pink at Target and navy blue at Walmart. And rumor has it, iOS 19's first teasers might drop in just a few weeks. As for performance, things are looking smooth. Whether you're on an iPhone 11 or the 16 Pro Max, speed is consistent. Early battery results are mixed though. Beta 3 drained fast, like 50% gone after just an hour and a half of screen time. But Beta 4 shows promise. One test showed over 2 hours of usage with 68% still left. Battery health is holding steady too, around 99% after 250 cycles. Benchmarks also saw a slight bump. Single core hit 3496 and multi core reached 8450. Not a game changer, but a boost. So should you install it? If you're a developer or an experienced beta tester, go for beta 4 or the upcoming public beta 3. But if you're just a regular user who values stability, we'd say hang tight for the final release. It's not long now. What's next? Keep an eye out for the iOS 18.5 RC next week and mark your calendars for the 9th of June. WWDC is where iOS 19 will steal the spotlight. That's it for this update. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more iOS news, and ring the bell so you never miss an Apple update. We'll be back soon. See you then.